Welcome back, Happy Fabricators. In this video, we are gonna show you how to TIG weld with your MIG welder. So we're gonna go over two different ways to set your MIG welder up to be able to TIG weld. The first way is gonna hit somewhere in the $20 price point, and the second one is gonna hit somewhere in the $180, $200 price point. Now our victim today, or the welder that we're gonna be using is the Prime Weld MIG 180. And I've seen multiple comments of people that were a little bummed out that they just purchased the 180 and the 200 came out afterwards because they were wanting a multi-process machine that could TIG weld. So you guys are really gonna appreciate this. We're gonna show you how to be able to TIG weld with your MIG 180. But you guys won't appreciate it as much as I will appreciate you guys hitting that like button real quick before we get diving into it. Okay, so we're gonna go over our low dollar setup first. The only things that you're gonna need is you are going to need a fresh contact tip, which you should have had a spare one of those that came with the machine or you should have purchased some anyways because it's good to have some on hand. The other thing you're gonna need is a number 20, 330 seconds TIG torch collet and some tungsten. You're gonna need two drill bits, one 960 force and one 330 seconds and a drill. Okay, so once you get your contact tip all the way drilled through with your 330 seconds, you wanna take a small chunk of 330 seconds tungsten and make sure it slides in there okay. Then you can push it all the way up in there as far as we need. And then we are going to take our 964 drill bit. And what we wanna do is we wanna act like our contact tip is the collet body in sorts. So we wanna drill almost all the way down in there to where the depth of the 930 seconds is not quite gonna reach the shoulder. It should look something similar to this and the collet should drop right down in there. Then we go over to our MIG gun and pull our old contact tip off. And then since we've already cut the wire inside the machine, I'm gonna take this and pull the extra wire out of the, the lead that we don't need in there and screw our new little assembly with our tungsten and everything back in. Okay, so once you get this guy all screwed in here, you're gonna to wanna to follow the same procedure that you would with the TIG welder and make sure that your tungsten stick out does not exceed the diameter of your orifice. So screw this guy in just a little bit. We should be good to go. And since we're gonna be using the MIG torch as a torch, we want to make sure that the torch is on the earth side. So just like a TIG welder, you always want your torch on the ground side. And the MIG-180 has this nice lugs so that we can switch this guy over so that we are powering our MIG lead with the ground side. And then this is our ground earth clamp and that is gonna go in the positive side. So quick little disclaimer here, do this at your own risk, but also be wise and remember that now this is a scratch start TIG. So as soon as you turn this machine on, this tip is gonna be live. So take note of where you set your torch down before you fire this thing up and make it live. Okay, so after this, we wanna remember that we are TIG welding now. So we wanna switch our normal MIG bottle over to our pure argon. We use the same regulator and we're just gonna hook this guy up. So we're gonna break open some weld metals online weld coupons. If you want to use these guys to get some weld coupons or even supply your general consumables that you would need for this project, use the code AMCF10 at checkout and that'll give you 10% off on your purchase. Well, it does technically work, and even with it on the lowest setting though, it seems like it burns pretty hot. And this is with my machine at least turned all the way down. Other machines might be different, but we just TIG welded with a MIG welder right there. 
Okay, so I can't say that I am as pleased as I was hoping I would be. It definitely does work and can run a nice speed, but I did this on this quarter inch and three eighths and that was like the right temperature. So it runs a lot hotter, even with the machine turned all the way down. I did do it on some eighth inch material here, but I had to run really fast. So the second option that we're gonna try out is we are going to take the exact same CK Worldwide Torch that comes with the MTS 200 and we're gonna plug it into this guy and see how she works. So if you contact PrimeWeld, they don't have a specific line item on the website, but they will sell you this torch. Just ask them for the MTS 200 torch. But what this is, is a standard scratch start take torch. It's got the DINS connector that'll fit directly onto this machine. And it has an on off switch for the gas right here on the torch since you won't have a switch to run it off of. You will need consumables with this torch. It does not come with consumables. It comes with back caps, but no consumables. So check out Web Metals Online once again if you go with this option and let's give it a try. Okay, so let's check out our results that we got from both of these guys. So with the MIG gun, this would be our $20 option. For some reason with this machine, it wants to run really high. Even with it turned all the way down, I was getting a lot of amperage coming out of the machine and I was only able to weld at least some welds that are good enough quality. These guys right here are quarter and three eighths inch plate and it burned it in real nicely and stuff, but you probably wouldn't be able to do much less than that with this, at least with this machine. There's other machines I'm sure that that are set up differently and you could dial that down a little more precisely. Our second option was the torch from the MTS 200. Now this one worked much better and we were able to get smaller and more kind of finite welds and get some good quality looking stuff actually. We burned in some stainless here. We burned in these stainless welds on both sides of this guy and it looks pretty good. And I was even able to burn in some mild steel and looks really good so one thing to note on this prime weld at least every machine is going to be different but you have to adjust both the wire speed and the voltage knob to affect the amperage so don't ask me why that's just what i found out and you could actually dial this guy down in and do some smaller stuff so if you're bummed out that you missed out on the mts 200 this is definitely an option uh, this tig torch is available on prime weld give them a call it's not a specific line item but if you give them a call and ask them for the torch off the mts 200 they will sell it to you. Depending on when you watch this video, it's gonna run you between $150, $170, somewhere in there. Prices change, so don't quote me on that. So as always, if you wanna see more fabrication content, click some of the links that are gonna pop up here. If you wanna be notified of upcoming videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon and go build something, guys.